Hi there, welcome to this video. Um, in this one, we're going to talk just a little bit about um, LiPo and lithium ion battery cell battery packs and uh, try to take a look at why they have balance leads on them. And especially given that they have the balance leads on there, why do they have more leads than there are actual cells in the battery? Like this one here is a three cell lithium ion and it's balancing lead has four wires coming out of it same here this is a lithium ion battery pack that i made and it's a three cell and it has four wires coming off as the balance lead well we're going to take a look a little bit more closely at why we have the four balance leads and what they're actually for and why they're really necessary for when we're charging our batteries so what i've done is made a little mock-up on the table here out of some lithium ion cells. And I just have a three cell battery basically made up and, and I've held the balance lead in place just with some um, rare earth magnets so that they're held in place and stable. I didn't do any soldering or anything like that. And this image should very quickly give you an idea of why we need the four different wires. So in this case, we're looking at a, at a three cell lithium ion battery, in which case there are three cells in series. And if we were to take a measurement from one end to the other, which we can do, and we'll see that if we go from one end to the other, we should get a fully charged voltage of 12.6 volts. And that's for the whole battery as a, as a whole unit in series. And What's going to happen is if we charge this, basically putting current straight in from one direction, from one cell to the next to the next, the internal resistance of the batteries and the individual cells is not going to be the same and they'll charge at different rates. And so you might end up with a situation where the very first cell reaches fully charged 4.2 and the middle cell might only be at 4.1 and the third cell might be at 4.12 in which case if you keep pushing current in to keep the last two that aren't fully charged getting charged you'll end up with the first cell getting overcharged and that's not a safe thing um, in any battery but especially not with lithium cells and so what you need to be able to do is during the charging process monitor the voltage and the charge state of every individual cell as well as the group of cells as a unit to make sure that none of them are getting overcharged. And that's what these balance leads allow us to do. So if we take a look at any point from one cell, you can see that it's just 4.2. If I switch to the middle cell, it will read 4.2. And you switch to the end cell, it will read 4.2. And that's because current only flows one direction it's not going to be going backwards and so at any given point you will only ever see the current or the voltage of the cells in between your probes so the two cells here are showing 8.4 and if i were to take these last two they would again only show 8.4 and if i come up and test at the leads i'm gonna have to get a little thank you wait on there First cell says 4.2, second cell 8.4, and we go to the third, 12.6. And so we can see that at the end of the balance leads, we're getting the voltage of each individual cell, as well as the, set, as the voltage across the whole pack. And what that lets us do is charge the battery as in a series safely because a decent charger will monitor the voltage of each cell. And then if any one cell maxes out, reaches the 4.2 volts of being fully charged, it will continue to charge the remainder of the cells, but using the balance leads, it will burn off the excess power that's going into the one cell or two cells, whichever ones, are already fully charged and so the point of these balance leads is to allow that to happen to make sure that each cell charges to its maximum voltage 
but never exceeds it. And so without these balance leads, we'd be in a lot of trouble and our cells would get unbalanced um, in terms of their charge levels very, very quickly. So if you've ever wondered why balance leads have one extra wire, um, this is why it lets you read the voltage from the whole setup as well as from each individual cell. Hope that was useful for you. Thanks for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you in another one.